Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. Um, hey, have you ever thought about like why, why isn't theft considered like a low tier, low tier version of murder? You know what I mean? I, 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 I asked this idea on TikTok and Facebook, and didn't really get <laughs> really get any answers. But the idea is, we we go to work for exchange of our hours. We get money. We use money to buy things for living expenses and food and stuff that we for entertainment and stuff like that right so when somebody comes and steals stuff like a tv it, it can be as small as it, like a tv or some some whatever it is insert item even even if it has uh some type of backup plan like insurance or something like that ignoring that somebody steals it technically what they're stealing is a part of your life like let's say a car right that is thousands of hours. Let's just say you uh, you can get a loan. So it's like whatever this amount, like say $30,000 or something like that for a car. That is thousands of your of your life just gone if somebody steals it. Like like say the whole Kia Boys thing. Like somebody steals your Kia and they wreck it. And then just all those hours, even it, whatever. Like I said, ignoring insurance. It's just hundreds to thousands of of your hours of your life gone and it doesn't mean anything anymore. How is that not like some type of murder? That's what I'm trying to trying to get. At. I, I I do understand. It's just like a it's one of those like weird hypothetical kind of questions. It's not a hypothetical. That's not the right. That's not the right term. But you know what I'm saying? It's, I know it's a stupid question. I know why it's not murder. <laughs> it's just. If you if you, if you if you don't think about it a little bit, why why isn't it why isn't it not? Which makes me go back to this like one idea that I had uh, a couple years ago. Uh, you know how I don't know if it's a law or it's just looked down upon. It's some like again, if somebody steals your stuff, like somebody breaks into your house and they steal an item and you kill them. I don't know if it's it's somewhere I heard it. I heard that you can't kill for materialistic things. It's like they have to be threatening your life for you to maybe not here in Texas, but like everywhere else where it's where it's normal. Uh, you can't kill for materialistic things. But with my with this logic, with the whole with death being they still in a piece of your life. So they are kind of they are kind of threatening your life. I don't, I don't know. I know what you, what y'all think. Please let me know. Comments, please. Uh, Homes.substack.com. Or um, if you if if I share it on Facebook, comment on there. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, but yeah, it's been a it's been a few weeks. I'm finally getting comfortable in the new place. Uh, I'm fig- uh, I got on my whiteboard. I got a week in pr- productivity. I got the I got my first my first book with uh, stoicism learning that I've been, I've downloaded some books on on the phone but I wanted a physical book and I've been trying to follow that philosophy and realizing it's it's not a religion but low key like just you're reading something to tell you how to be a good person that's so it's the same principle it's so I end up just falling to the same thing I might as well have just <laughs> but I'm, I'm I like it. I enjoy it. I like the philosophy. It, 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 odd enough, it doesn't seem like it has any like any like bad takes. You know what I mean? So far, it's a little like uppity, a little bit, but it's like it's not that bad. It's not like from what I've learned with uh, Christianity or Mormonism, anything like that. It's always like. It always felt like a good and a bad side, you know, but with stoicism is always like, yeah, yeah, you, it's really, it's all about you. It's, you know what? I guess that's the only bad thing. Well, if somebody looking out from the, from the outside that it's like very, it seems very narcissistic, but cause it is all, it's all, all about you. It's like, you want, you want good. Don't complain about it. Just be that good. Right. Don't, don't really worry about like, okay. One quote, I'm, I'm fuck up the quote, but be tolerant of others. Be strict on yourself. It's like it's very like self help type of thing. 
and saying it out loud is like, oh, you're falling for that shit. Like, yeah, no, whatever. All right, so I'm doing that, and this is slowly but surely I'm creating this, like, week of productivity and figuring out what's best for me and stuff like that. Like, Monday I read, Tuesday I write, Wednesday I clean, Thursday, which is today, I relax, which I'm not doing. <laughs> I, I had a burst of energy, you know, I, I guess because it's my Friday, technically, so this is my weekend now. So I like, had a burst of energy. I'm like, fuck it. Let me let me record while I have this energy. And I, and I think that's how I'm going to start recording these instead of like trying to force myself to do it every week. Because, um, I mean, I, I know you have noticed that uh, I haven't really had that spark or uh, or I'm doing a really good job. <laughs> you never noticed. Uh, but, yeah, I, when I record it, I don't I don't feel that spark. Like right now, I'm fine. Cause I had, I got stuff I want to get off my chest. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I really, I was trying to get away from news. Uh, especially with this, it's very political heavy fucking Kamala Harris and Trump and that. Oh, it's just, it's so much. Like, yo, what? Come on. I just want to live here. I just want to just lower my taxes. Just lower, just lower everything for like a, a month. Like, you know, let's, let's test it out, you know? But, um, reading more i'm reading more yes i'm doing really good i'm working on myself y'all that's what's important and um trying to remove things that's 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 one part of the things with stoicism too is just removing the things that uh that i know are it's negative on my life i I have to be real with myself even the things that i love i have to be i have to take it out of my life and uh i'm slowly but surely figuring that out i don't know what everything is yet um and I, I guess one of the, one of the first things is me being alone. That is that is one of the steps. I didn't I didn't I didn't do that because of stoicism, but it's like I just happen to be doing it already. So and it makes sense because uh, I am I, I am happier. I ain't saying I'm like not depressed, but I'm I'm uh, <laughs> I'm like a, damn. I ain't happy. I ain't sad. I'm like in the middle. I'm like neutral. I'm 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 a, I'm like leaning towards happy right now. I'm like I haven't been pissed off in my own home. That's that's what I mean. All right. So that's that's where I'm at right now. Even if, even the outside things like certain bills coming up or um the la- the last apartment also haven't sent me sent me my money for my deposit yet because they taking their time. But you know what? I'm a new me. Usually I would I would have let that steam. I will let this stew, and it is still stewing in me a little bit, but I'm I'm not letting it bother me. I'm not letting it bother me like like some things, because that that's what I'm learning about myself too. Is uh, uh, my anger is a lot better than it than it's ha- it has been, but I really need to work on how much I let things stew, and how long and like like I let it stay there for weeks sometimes. Um, in, in the original recording of this episode, uh, I talked about this guy, this fat fucking bastard. <laughs> See, I'm getting over it, right? Um, I don't know. He just randomly came on one of my pa- my posts. Just I don't. We're not friends. I don't know how he found my post, but he just talking shit. This fucking is fat white dude from Kentucky. <laughs> Got a wife. Got a kid. I'm not even gonna talk about his wife. She ain't got nothing to do with it except fucking him. Uh, <laughs> wife got two kids. You you're in Kentucky. You're in the safety of your own people. You you don't see no Negroes over there. I'm confident. You you got Trump everywhere. Yeah, you in the church. You just living this whole basic life. Like what, the, the the thing that bothers me is one. He did the whole. You know how like people. Oh, you're in, you're you're a fat kid in school. He's like, oh, you're a fatty. You hear that for years and years and years and years. It's the same thing with being a comedian. The moment people find out that you're a comedian, and they just happen, and we're having like a back and forth. The first lazy ass comment they say is, "Oh, how does it feel to be a failed comedian?" I'm like, and it, I can't help but let it bug me. And when I know, he just projecting. That's 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 all that is. 
bro is just projecting. He hates his life. His hate. He hates his fucking basic ass life. Even if he's successful in like whatever, whenever way you you view success, because I, I I view what he has as success, which is ironic. You know, I think I get that. Uh, damn, I guess that works the same way with a, with a lot of things. You know, like basketball players want to be rappers, rappers want to be basketball players. It's it's the same way. It was like comedians. Really, we we doing all of this to end up living a normal life, but we have did this brain, and we we some of us like <laughs> we dissect things. That is just how we are. But we we really we strive to be normal. But then normal people see us and hate. That we got this weird, depressing freedom. They don't realize how depressing this freedom is, and they hate on us for it. So they feel they 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 take advantage of the fact that oh you're not famous. I'm a, I'm gonna point that out and make you depressed because I fucking hate my life. And it took me a whole week to try to. That's how that's how I break it down because at first I was just pissed off about it. I'm like this is lazy ass shit. I it's it's so lazy. People love bringing that up as if. I haven't realized that. <laughs> I didn't. I, oh, I thought I thought working a normal job. Uh, ah, whatever. I'm, I'm. See, this is what I'm talking about. I still let it, even though I'm. I'm. I'm trying to pretend. I. I. I got a good hold of it and try. And I figured it out. I'm. I'm still letting it stew. I'm still letting it stew inside of me. All this anger, but. Uh, but yeah, asshole. <laughs> Cause y'all know how I am, man. I, 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 I'm not doing this podcast just for the hell of it, because I, I, I enjoy the process. I enjoy creating and thinking about, and thinking about all this stuff. Even though most of the stuff I think about, you can look in the beginning of this episode. I ain't thinking that that deep, but I like the process. I like being funny. I like trying to anyway, you know. And then people who want to step on your toes is whatever though. Um, moving on, moving on. Um, <laughs> Something else that's kind of depressing, but you know, I got over it because it's 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 funny now. Um, so I told you I'm single, and I, for some reason, you know how your brain and your heart don't really have the same message. So my brain, though, it's it's healthy for me to stay single, work on myself, you know, either work out or read some more or do do whatever I got to do while I'm single, save up some money. While I get the while I got the chance to, I, my brain knows that, but my heart is like, "Hey, someone's giving it. Someone else is giving you attention. Take it. Come on, take it." Right, and that's what happened at uh, the the warehouse before I transferred to this new one. Um, a few weeks before I knew I was transferring, this girl came over to my department. She just trans over trans referred over to my department very pretty girl um my age about my height got got these locks very pretty uh black woman right uh you could say i was a little bit submitting you know you feel me it's just (laughs) i was i knew i knew i didn't want to talk to nobody but he's like you know you, you can't stop thinking somebody's cute or whatever right the kicker was that she thought the same thing she, 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 we talked and we, 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 whatever. And eventually I got a number and I, like I said, I knew I got the transfer thing. I knew because I don't have a car. I have no plans on dating nobody for real. I just kind of having fun with this. And it was mostly the only reason why I kind of like let it happen at first was because I wanted to prove to my heart. Like, Hey, see this, see how, because I ha- I had this theory that I was like one of the one of the ra- main things that was stressing me out in life was women in various different ways. It was women that was stressing me out the most. The only time that I felt the worst emotionally, like it'd be something simple, like just being sad or even or the extreme, like ah suicide or something like that. All right, just I'm just saying. All right, don't think too much about it. Just, just saying, it happened. It had that thought, and why did I have this thought? Is because of women. But for some reason, my heart still be like, "Hey, let's still talk to somebody. Let's, 
Oh, oh, she got a fat ass. Blah blah blah. You know, right? Let's let's do it anyway. Yeah, it might suck, but do it anyway. So really, I was just kind of playing along, but I knew I wasn't gonna go that far just to prove my heart. Like, hey, see all this stress that she's bringing into your life. Even even if she's not doing anything bad, it's just all the stress to either please her or have to please her is it, too much for me right now. And I should focus on myself, money and all that good stuff, right? But it didn't last that long because she blocked me. <laughs> she, I, I, don't, I don't know why. And it didn't hurt, but it, I was confused. I was... <laughs> Because <laughs> nothing, nothing bad happened. No weird stuff. I didn't say no f weird freaky shit or nothing yet. Uh, we were still in to get the no stage, and I, 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 I get this is me projecting, but I like to assume that maybe it was because I didn't have a car, and it, we, and at the time I was biking. I just got the bike, so. <laughs> <laughs> as a thirty-something-year-old talking to another thirty-something-year-old, he's like, "Ah, oh, this nigga riding on a bike to work." Like, that's me projecting, thinking that's why. But it's probably something else. But I stopped thinking about it long, uh, shortly after that. Um, it was kind of confusing, but it was kind of funny. He was like, "Damn!" Just out of nowhere, no, like, I don't know, whatever. I ain't really thinking about it too much. Uh, but. I ended up talking to one of the homeboys before I left, one of the, one of my uh, work friends, because ladies, um, us guys don't really have to like keep connected. Like I I right now I don't I forgot his name. <laughs> I forgot his name. I like really all my uh, quote unquote friends at that warehouse. I don't know their name. We just say hey, what's up, man? And we talk shit. And we laugh and we work and then we move on. And I don't know if that works with every guy, but with me, the only time I really get to know your name, unless I have to call you, your call your name, or we are connected outside of work. And that's very few people. Um, like the home, my homeboy Chris, is because the only reason why I remembered his name is because not only we work together. But we game together too, so it's like, and then we 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 just we had a lot in common and stuff like that. He he was dating a girl that I went to high school with or whatever, so we just had all these connections. I'm like, yeah, so now I, he it's important for me to know this guy's name, and he was doing comedy too, so it's like he's important in my life in the in the lore of my life, right? Uh, but these other guys, not saying that they're not important. But they serve a different purpose, so I don't need to know their name. I could just be like, "Hey, what's up?" You know, like, "Hey, nigga, what's good?" We handshake and shit. But anyway, my point is, ladies, we don't. Uh, you already know about like locker talk and stuff like that. Um, sometimes it can go a little bit more extreme. <laughs> not nothing like hella bad. Well, not in my case anyway. Uh, but. I had this one particular guy, black dude, kind of ghetto, but not not like annoying ghetto. He he, I is tolerant because I don't I don't like loud ass niggas. But he uh, he 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 cool. And the one thing I keep him around for, I call him Asspedia. Why why do I call him Asspedia? Because this motherfucker knows. Every piece of ass in the warehouse, and it's impressive. It's so impressive it, because um, in the last warehouse I was in, this one that I'm in right now, we we only work with like maybe forty people. So we, I, I, I've seen everybody who works there, but the last warehouse is so big because it was like a sort one, so it went to like multiple different warehouses after us. We have like 150, 200 people sometimes in the building at the same time you 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 see somebody new that you think is new you're like hey you new here no i've been here for five months like that's because that's how big and in so many sections of that warehouse so it was really impressive uh i i i, I hooked up with with him like the last i think it was like the last two days i was at that warehouse before i transferred to this one and i was talking to him same old stuff nothing new 
I told him I was moving, whatever. He like, oh, that's good. That's what's up, man. You moving on. Moving on. Get out of here. Blah, blah, blah. I didn't get the fuck out of here. Blah, blah, blah. And I brought up the girl that blocked me cause, as a joke because you, I don't know about other fellas. I share my failures because it's funny because it's like, uh, <laughs> Cause I remember trying to. This is this is a different story, but I remember talking to this, trying to talk to this one African girl, and I didn't like the same same situation with this 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 current girl who's my age. I didn't want to go anywhere. It was more just like testing out, testing it out, you know, because she was she had a big old ass, whatever. So I was like, whatever. Let me. I kept my my head kept saying, just give her give your number to her, whatever. So I ended up finding this girl. She big. I know, stupid. <laughs> like, damn, George. Like, no, she had a stupid ass. Stupid ass, right? And I usually don't let it to, uh, get me to the point where I'm like following the motherfucker by. <laughs> like like a cartoon and like the smell of pie. Like, I'm, I was fucking like following her by accident and shit. And I gave her my number on a piece of paper. And I gave her my middle name because... Because how she reacted, right? I was like, hey, here's my number. She was like, why? <laughs> why? Like, because I don't know if it's like a different nationalities. They don't really understand uh, or whatever. But I, I gave her my middle name with the number just in case she went to HR. I mean, like, oh, he's, 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 he's freaking me out. Like, <laughs> so, so I shared that story with him alongside with this current girl who blocked me i was like yeah she blocked me man she i was kind of i was kind of a little sad about it man because she was fine she was fine she was my age i gave the whole description or whatever and i got to the ass but she like she got a big old ass whatever and then yeah and then she got this amazing smile and that's what kicked it off with him and he was like oh you're talking about so and so he's he's he said her name that's what threw me, you know, I was like, motherfucker, you know, like, because I thought I found, I thought I found a gem, I thought I, because I didn't see, because usually, if it's somebody who's really pretty, the the dogs, the wolves, in that warehouse, at any job, really, they all gonna be, stop doing their job to come help, or whatever, that didn't really happen with her, so I'm like, okay, I think I found somebody nobody knows about, right, that's that's part of the reason why I was wanted to talk to her too. I was like, nobody's messing with her. Not, nobody's even thinking about her. Maybe they know something I don't know. But I didn't. Eh, they they see me around her, whatever, whatever. So I talked to her. But just to find out that <laughs> he knew her, said he got her number before too. She she just too friendly. That's what I, that's why I end up finding out is that not so much that she was into me is more that. She again, I, I've been I've run into this a lot too. This from like years ago too, that women just I, I run into the women that either don't mess with me, or they don't know how to say no. And I think it's the ones that don't know how to say no annoy me the most. <laughs> but yeah, Asspedia, this motherfucker knows all the ass. So I I, sh- I knew I should have came to him first, but I haven't seen him in months. So yeah. <laughs> so stupid, man. Uh, and then, of course, we after that we had a good laugh about all the, all the other women that we've seen. Again, I, I do a description of. I, I even talked about the girl that I gave the, uh, the number to, gave my middle name to. Uh, he was like, "Yeah, that's so." So I'm like, "Damn, dude! Like, fucking back up, dude!" <laughs> like, he almost pissed me off a little bit. It's like. You don't have to talk to all of them. Yeah, you, this motherfucker had a girlfriend. Well, not anymore, but I, I I know why now that he doesn't. You fucking freak. Damn. Uh, but yeah, 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 yeah. What else? What 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 else did I talk about in that original one? Oh, okay. I I'll end it with this. What okay? I'm, I got I got some stuff on the board. Story about the neighbor. I'll, I'll talk about that later. Uh, yeah. Um. So I've like I said I've been reading, and I finally got to the book that I've, I got two copies of it by accident because a homeboy sent me one, 
and didn't realize and didn't know that I had it, mostly because I didn't know I had it either. Um, it's called The Sellout by Paul Betty, if I got the name correctly. It's not in front of me. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's Paul Betty. The Sellout, I don't, I don't know what it's about. I know it's, it's about race issues. It's a black uh, author. But I keep getting recommended to it to go read it by my white friends. And the funniest thing about that is I finally start reading in the first two chapters. It says nigger a lot. It, it says it so much. And that's so funny to me. <laughs> that of all the people that 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 could have advertise this book to me was all my white friends why do y'all like it so much any and the book has like rewards and stuff like that i don't i don't know the exact rewards that it has but you know how they got the permanent stickers on the front covers of books it's like man of the year it it, it didn't say that but it's like something of the year of reward or whatever got so many rewards and it's 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 it's, it's from what I read, the few the two chapters, it is written really well, but it does say nigger a lot. Nigger whispered, uh, nigger this, nigger that. It's a lot. <laughs> I don't I know of course it's gonna it's gonna tell a bigger picture upcoming later, but uh so far it's a lot of niggas it's like um about a white dad raising a black kid and then and the dad is like racist and he's like teaching a kid, teaching a kid ways and teaching them in like these weird saw, saw inspired story in machines, you know, like uh, he was teaching them about like, like trivia or something like that. And then I had like batteries tied up to had batteries tied up to him. So it was like if he got it wrong or he didn't answer fast enough. He'll have to hit the button and he'll electrocute himself. And it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. I'm I, I'm doing a terrible job because I read it in the beginning of the beginning of the week. Uh, speaking of which, I did. What's make what's in, what's uh, inspiring me to read more is I'm journaling, journaling, reading journal while I read. Like each chapter, I'll break it down because I don't. How I take in media, I don't. I, I need to write it down, and I know I have like twelve different journals, and I got content on TikTok about journaling. And I, that's all I fucking talk about. But yeah, 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 whatever. This helps me. This helps me be productive, and helps me. It's actually helping me read to make me remember what the hell I was talking about. Um, I'm actually reading another book. It's a young adult teenager. is is made for teenagers. He's like young adults called red planet i don't know the name i think his name is robert is the author uh so far it's um in the future well the book is written in the 60s so the future is probably now <laughs> we're living on mars and so far the conflict is no conflict is very um uh damn what's the name of that show with the white family who got too many kids the Brady Bunch. It's like it's very. It's the dialogue is very Brady Bunch. Like, oh son, be be mindful. Don't don't talk dirty during at the dinner table type that that type of talk. Uh, so far, I think I can kind of guess the conflict, and the conflict is that the the main character, the teenage boy, he want, he's going back to Earth to go study for class. I don't know if it's for college or for a test or whatever. He wants to bring his Mars pet back to Earth. And everybody's like, just fucking leave the damn furball here. Just leave it on Mars with us. He's like, no. And I I already know the conflict. Him being fucking stingy because he doesn't want to share the pet with his fucking siblings or whatever. So the conflict, I'm guessing, is going to Earth and either people going to freak out because it's a goddamn Mars animal. Or something, the animal's gonna get into some shit, or get kidnapped or something, and it's, it's, it's all this, all because he's being selfish and didn't, or 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 it's gonna die, or it's gonna die because you're bringing something that lives on Mars onto to Earth. I don't know, but I haven't figured it out. I'm only on chapter two, 
and it's, it's it hasn't been anywhere yet. So that's my guess. Um, so yeah, I'm juggling like three different books right now. Um, I'm not doing too much. I'm not s- stressing myself out. <laughs> uh, do I have anything else? Do I have anything else? I think I'm gonna leave it at this. Um, I'm not gonna keep cucking y'all with updates on a book. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Um, uh, I'm adding more stuff, and I'm I'm, I'm, I'm happy for it. I'm happy about it. But it's, then I'll I'll write a section that's new. Like uh, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give it up on the on the show. Just I'm I'm writing more stuff in between chapters and stuff like that, bonus stuff, you know. But honestly, I'm just doing too much. I'm I, I honestly am. I need I need just need to get to the point and get to it fast and then release it and just let it whatever happens happen. If people love it, then I can continue doing it. But if not, then I'm wasting my time. Let's just move on to the next thing. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, thank you for listening to the show. I appreciate y'all. Um, you can leave a voicemail with news articles or whatever you find weird on the internet, some funny memes, whatever. You can join me on the Discord. It's on the description of this podcast. Um, or you can uh, leave, leave a voice voicemail or a text message at, uh, at the same number. 725-999-2704 I appreciate y'all Send an email the whom's at, the whom's at gmail.com I appreciate y'all um, Journal prompt In the original one I did in the beginning I should have did it in the beginning But If you can ask anybody for advice Dead or alive Who would it be And what would you ask them And what's so special about that person if you want to join on this journal and content, I'm going to start doing it in the beginning of each episode. Fill up that page. Open up that notebook. And get it all out. Again, who would you? Who do you ask for advice for? Damn, that was words. <laughs> if you could ask anybody for advice, dead or alive, who would it be? What would you ask them? And why is it so special to ask them in general? Right. That's the show. I appreciate y'all. Love you.